today on the index, 19,900 just about holding out. Uh, stocks then, a lot of pressure uh, that's uh, built up across the board and broader markets as well. So we saw a tilting of the breath by the end of the session in the second half really. Telecom in focus, so idea saying there's no way we can file that affidavit in four or five days' time, down about 14% also, of course, on the, on, on the reality that the likelihood is that they will still have to pay those dues, even though the timeline is still uh, a little gray. Bharti Infratel also down 9% today. Z, 7% cut. We had SBI down 5%. Uh, financials, of course, once again taking quite a big hit. So IDFC, Canara, ICICI, Access, PNB, the whole lot uh, seeing some pressure as well and selling building up there. Sun Pharma is down 5% today. Uh, Tata Motors, Maruti, Aisha, so auto as a theme actually completely uh, also some hammering in trade today as well. Other than that, uh, we also had a Tata Steel Interglo. Bharti was down about 3%, recovering somewhat from the day's low. Uh, Titan also saw a cut of about 2 to 3 percent today. RBL saw some profit booking coming in. Uh, Reliance, TCS, LNT, none of the other blue chips there really participating at all in today's session. A few names that managed to hold out included an Indusin, which we've been talking about. Finally, uh, a PVR uh, and uh, to some extent, um, some of the smaller financial counters like an LIC, m and and so forth. But that's pretty much it. Uh, Avan? Oh, yes, indeed. Um, you know, it has been quite a tumultuous day of trade and that bias clearly in favor of the losing side by the time we wind it down for trade. A lot of those large caps, as you mentioned, have really not participated or have just come under acute pressure in today's trading session and those banks have been the worst hit by the time we shut shop. Of course, telecom as well, um, you know, waiting for what emerges on the telecom dues as the Supreme Court hears the case, the future of not just the telecom sector but the banking sector as well that remains to be on the line and uh, we've also got reliance industries in focus remember the economic times reporting that uh, PE giant tpg seems to be the latest one to grab a pie worth over a billion dollars so that continues to keep the stock in the limelight and um, Within the broader universe as well, you've had reactions coming in. Indian hotels, by the way, reacting to its quarterly numbers. Do remember there was a bit of a slowdown in the numbers this time around, largely on account of the hospitality se sector getting hit. You had a Jindal stainless, revenues down about 20%, a bit as well lower, Shankara Bilkon. It's been a muted set, uh, it's been a good set of numbers rather for this one. Profits growing 3.7 times. MGL has been on Credit Suisse's radar. They've got an outperform rating there. So those have been some of the news candidates.